We got up bright and early so we could get the first ferry from Sorrento to Queenscliff. on the Sorrento Ferry. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like super calm, but we don't know. Anything can happen in the high seas. So, strap to strap. Strap to strap. Strap to strap. Strap to strap. Um, Just to keep it that way. To the crash bar, bar onto this pole. If anything happens, the pole is only going to go into this. Yep, on the side stand in this nice little section for motorcycles that they've got. heads of Port Phillip Bay and that's there's a sort of triangle that comes in between the Mornington Peninsula and whatever it's called on the other side but that's the really rough bit and the ferry has been very smooth up until this point and we just started it's not much but you can feel the difference To Rachel's bad hair show and Pete's bad hair show. Here we are, fun with hair. <laughs> we have made it to Torquay. This is the start of the Great Ocean Road, and we are at our first stop. Very exciting.
bit of bike maintenance again. Going very on. minor, very minor. Uh, it's very, it's very minor. So basically, what happens is when I get on and off the bike, I've, I've got some serious bruises on my legs because I keep hitting that pannier, uh, which this... has loose, well, damaged this a little bit. So we're yeah, cable and... tying it for extra so these, security. So these brackets aren't what holds the pannier on. They're just there as a temporary support while I put this bracket on. As you can see panny itself is held on by the strap which can take a couple of hundred kilos yeah. so this is actually the that's the good thing this is just a stabilizer so it's not unsafe it was just not unsafe at all not stable yeah so we're just popping up a bit which puts a bit of un undue strain on that back end of the yeah. pannier rack so this just distributes the weight a bit better so happy with that and let's not forget it's bolted in here as well okay so yeah, beautiful here we are the multi-tools out again Uh, and and we also need a hammer because we need something to uh, for the ten for pegs. The ten pegs, which I was going to do without, but it's pretty dry here. God, that <laughs> weird. All right. <laughs> as in Bloomingdale's department store. Not this particular one, this was later. Got chocolate gluten free dairy for open. <laughs> Is it yummy? It's all over your face. Actually, it's not all over your face, it's just above. You've kind of got a mustache. What have you got? Uh, I've got a Snickers ice cream which is gluten free. Mm, I'm getting caramel, I'm getting peanuts. It's all over your face. Not yet, but it's soon will be. Started to 
today in Sorrento. We got the car and passenger ferry to Queenscliff. Then we made our way to Torquay. Lovely place for in Anglesey. Which used to be called Swampy Creek. Swampy Creek. Not such a pretty name. Uh, but the original Wadawurrung people, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, uh, called it Fishing Place, which I think is the best of the lot. It is. And just to confirm that people do still fish here, I don't have actually a very handy, next to my backpack, a fish length ruler, so that if you're fishing here, you know whether it's legal or not. We're in an augmented reality experience. We can look at our phone instead of this terrible view from where we are. Oh, taking nature. Number 54, 60, no, 64, 64, there it is.
Grand sum of arguments, zero. We put most of our stuff in the in the hand, and now I haven't seen these. This is new. I got the green one. They got the red one. Looks like a big spider. Oh, oops. <laughs> Remember when we watched this thing and the guy's head comes off? <laughs> ah, right. So you want that end up here? Ah, ah, ah. Break it until it works. Can't come to them. Oh, what's this that you have here, Rachel? This would be our kitchen box with mm -hmm. all of our spices. Oh, not pepper though. Oh. All right. Fix that later. Got some olive oil. Balsamic. Got some curry powders, curry perries, ginger. Sumac. Salt. Bottles of Tabasco sauce. Turmeric, sesame seeds, saffron, soy sauce. Maple syrup. Well, we have to go shopping now. Buy meat and veg. <laughs> Welcome to the camp kitchen here at the lawn. Uh, we've just uh, cooked up a little, well Pete really has cooked up a little feast. What have we got there Peter? Well we've got uh, sausage and feta with uh, eggplant, artichoke and olives with a bit of uh, spinach and some basmati rice. Uh, it's actually not feta, it's a uh, veg loomy I believe. Veg loomy, that's right. It's like a vegan gluten free cheesy thing. Um, yeah, and, and it's a little anti-pasto goodness. And it seems to have cooked up just like normal feta. Um, Aloumi. <laughs> not feta. Not feta. Right, well there we go. It's totally not feta. And we've got a little bit left over if you want some afters. Okay, and uh, we thought what would just set this up really nicely because it's got a fair few sort of uh, Mediterranean flavours going on. Yes. So we thought it'd be great if we could just have a little bit of truffle. Truffle, truffle would go really nicely with this, I think. So, what have we got there? Uh, just checking, but I think it's truffle. Oh, look at that! Oh, look. Truffle. How convenient. Mm, just a uh, great thing, truffle. Mm -hmm. What's truffle would be like? How's that? A little bit more. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, this is yours. Happy with the trouble? There you go, got about $15 worth on the bench there. Because <laughs> everyone should take truffles with them. Um, and top tip, we're storing it in a little bit of rice to keep it nice and fresh. And um, then the rice also absorbs the aroma and the flavour from the trouble. So, should be good meals. Well, we have made it to Torquay. To Grovelies. Growlers. Growlers. Growlers restaurant. And from here we start the Great Ocean. <laughs> great. Great Ocean. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Work on that. Oh, no.